Welcome back to our channel. I'm Chris. And I'm Ola. And if you're new here. We like to go hiking, exploring, finding abandoned places, and today we're visiting Bailey, Bailey Arboretum. Arboretum. So stick around and see what we can find. There's a little map on the place. And let's go check out Turtle Pond. Right? Where are we? Where's you are here? Well, the in where? Oh. <laughs> where that dot right there? Oh, we are okay. The yellow dot. Turtle Pond. Okay. frog in there. I don't know if I'm going to be able to catch him. There he is. Right. The wind. This is what Chris is referring to. I'm saying hello. Chris, if you come here, you can see the frog. Hurry, hurry. Hurry, hurry. Let's see if we can get him jumping. Do you see him? Yeah, yeah. He's right there. Nice kid. I only saw him because he moved before. I don't see any turtles. Nope. Oh, something went under the water. I thought it was him. I was like, oh, I lost him, but now he's still there. All right, we found a turtle. Oh, that's, I, I was going to ask you about that. But I was like, oh, you just look, turtle. you see him turning? I looked at that too. Let's see if his head pops out. Come on, pop your head out. He really does blend in. That turtle was so cool. I mean, you, couldn't, <laughs> you really couldn't see him. You just saw his back, but it was still awesome. Let's continue on the trail. Oh, maybe here's Turtle Island. Maybe we'll see more turtles here. No, they're already on guard. Maybe we'll just look over here. And so here. It's so dark in here. Oh, it's going down this path. We were trying to go down the other path, but it became grass and it was very tall and just these tick signs everywhere. So we're not gonna take a chance. We're just gonna stay on the regular paths and I'm just delaying because it's like really dark in there. <laughs> oh no, here we go.
This is a nice stroll through the woods here. The Arboretum. Nice and peaceful, minus the airplane flying overhead. Oh, it looks like a cool tree ahead. Let's get closer. Check out this tree. She's beautiful. If you know what kind of tree it is, comment down below. I don't see a sign on it. Yeah, I'd be curious. It's a really nice tree. Wow. Really pretty. We came from the blue. This is Dola Blue that way. It kind of, it just matches up with this one if you go straight. There's one that goes to the right. I don't know if that's a color or not. I don't see anything on the trees yet. We were tempted to go that way just because it's a clear path. Again, we didn't want to walk through the grass too much, but it's a little bit of low low spot, so that's what we're following. And it looks like it clears up a little bit ahead, so that's exciting. We want to extend this walk as much as possible. It's been amazing here, and I think the it's looks like we're in a rainforest. The weather, I think, is adding to like the whole ambiance, you know, so. making it a little more crazy. I don't know. On a hot day, this might not be so enjoyable. Probably not. I Definitely think... buggy. <laughs> this feels relaxing. Maybe just the sounds of the yeah, the dripping water. of the water off the leaves. Hey, an opening in the canopy. <laughs> Well, it looks like we reached the end and we're gonna swoop back towards the front. It's so green in here. I know, it's awesome. <laughs> and like, I know over here you can't tell as much, you can sort of tell, but when you look that way, it's so dark and so thick, you know, so many spots. You gotta watch out for you know, poison ivy and stuff. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. Wow. That's pretty. Let's see if we can find more garden works. Garden I, works. I don't know. Is that how you would say it? I don't know. I think it sounds cool, though. <laughs> I don't know what I would say. <laughs> I was just going to say more flowers. <laughs> more flowers. <laughs> Chris found a friend. What are you going to name him? Well, Crinkly. It, okay, Crinkly. If you like that name, leave a comment down below. Give a thumbs up. So great. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Hit the bell notification, share with your family and friends. Hit all. Hit all. Alright, here's Crinkly again. Oh, oh what? Where'd he what go? What the? <laughs> See, oh, he's doing on, his hold thing. On, hold on. There he goes. Bye. Wow. How dark it was back there. We're making our way back out into the sunlight. Well, daylight. It's sunlight too, but there's no sun. And, oh, we made it back to like a house or something. I wasn't sure if this was just gonna lead us back to where we were. I thought maybe it would, but it looks like we found a different path. path right here for Let's check it out. Found more of the trees. This one has a sign. It's a Dawn Redwood. Looks like there's gonna be an event here later. Beautiful house. Look how it's growing out. Pretty crazy. The event venue. Another one, another red, no, Dawn Redwood. Really pretty. I wonder where the music's coming from. I know there's music here. All the trees. Well, that one has a sign in front of it. 
because it's older. Maybe. It's another red wood, right? Yeah. Oh, look at those blue things. What are they called again? Hydrangeas. Yeah, I knew that. Good one. <laughs> oh, there's the temple. It's a busy road to the side, but it looks like the Temple of Love, just like at the Untermeyer Gardens. Got the lion on there. This is dancing. Very pretty. We're by the Dawn Redwood tree. You can pause and read this. So there are believed to have been extinct for 200 million years when a small stand was discovered in China during World War II. In 1948, Harvard University sent an expedition to bring back seedlings and gave several to Mr. Bailey, who had a reputation for being able to grow anything. He had been successfully planting exotics, non-native plants, on this property since 1911. Wow. It's more than 90 feet tall. It's the widest in the world? That's crazy. Its girth more than 15 feet around is the largest of any dawn redwood in the world, according to the International Metasequoia Meta Society. That was a tongue twister. That's impressive. So these redwoods don't get that wide, I guess, no more. That's why I said this tree is so beautiful. It is. There's just something about the way the... It feels like magic when you stand underneath it. It's like fern leaves. Yeah. I love ferns. And moths. Just trying to see what it said. Oh wow, you can see how many there are. We passed a few, but there's one here, one there, one there, one there. Pretty we'll awesome. <laughs> there's another one back there. This whole spot here is just lined with them pretty yep. much. I was mistaken. What I said was the red dawn wood is actually bald cypress. They look very similar. They do look similar in terms of the bark. Looks like there's a greenhouse. Let's check it out. I don't know if they're we're allowed in the greenhouse. Here comes some cactus. I know the roses are insane. Look at that. They're crazy pink. Did they food dye them or are they natural that color? Natural. Just next to the greenhouse. See? Greenhouse. Next to the greenhouse is a little garden. It looks like dahlias. children's area and it looks like there's a cool cool area for them to hang out over here oh it's like a star well we hope that you enjoyed following us along today visiting Bailey Arboretum and this is your reminder to get out there and enjoy nature <laughs> it's beautiful it doesn't have to be some crazy hike up a mountain no. just get out there local parks local, local arboretums any place. Fresh air. <laughs> Fresh air. So don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell notification. Make sure you hit all. <laughs> Leave a comment down below, share with your family and friends, and we'll see you in the next one. She catches me every time. <laughs> Bye.